News. Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty will get a first-hand look today at flood fighting efforts in his state. Now, earlier in the week, he declared a state of emergency for 28 Minnesota counties due to potential spring flooding. Reporter Heather Brown of our Minneapolis station WCCO has been covering this for us. She has the latest this morning from the other side of the rising Red River, where we find her this morning in Fargo, North Dakota. Hi there, Heather. Uh, good morning, Erica. We are in downtown Fargo, the parking lot of City Hall, where it's kind of a mess. Over the past week, they have trucked in tons of clay here to build a huge dirt levee to protect the downtown area from any water coming through. At this point, the mayor is pretty optimistic that things will be OK, but he's asking people to be vigilant, to still be on the lookout. Throughout the morning, we've been watching National Guardsmen walk along this levee. They're looking for slumps. They're looking for cracks. They're looking for anything that will compromise this wall. As more of the land becomes covered in water, the Coast Guard tested 10 airboats brought in from Ohio, Michigan, and New York, ready to rush in for any emergencies. At this point, there's no mandatory evacuation. We're just making sure everybody's okay. They can drive over dry land in just six inches of water, which could come in handy as every day more of the river flows over area roads. This is a main intersection just north of Fargo. Dangerous. With the amount of current going across the road, it could be. Let's go. By Wednesday, volunteers had finished most of the sandbagging. They put down three quarters of a million bags. But a few families finished up some last minute defense. Just kept our fingers crossed and we were just hoping that it wouldn't be as bad as they're predicting. For many, the next 48 hours will be the most difficult. There's little to do but wait. But most are optimistic that it won't be a repeat of last spring's record breaking flood. We're mainly keeping a feel on the flood. Right now it's very different from last year. And the water has come up a couple of feet. It's now at almost 35 feet, still has a few more feet to go. It's on the other side of this wall here, but we can't show that to you because we're not allowed up on these levees. That's partly for the levees protection, partly for our protection, because they don't want to have to go in there and fish people out of the water. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.